In consumer news tonight, after months of anticipation, two fast food chains gave updates as to when they'll open their doors in town. News Press Now's Harry Loomis gives us the update. The Chiefs aren't the only reason why St. Joseph is excited. Two new fast food chains are soon going to be serving up the community. Hawaiian Bros and Jersey Mike Subs are equally excited for their stores opening up in the coming weeks. Other parts of the country where we've been, we just find that there's like, you know, with our brand, uh, you know, exploding the way it is, you know, people in an area like that are super excited for us to come. It's definitely been an area that we've been targeting. So we were thrilled to partner with one of our developers that we've been working with for quite a while, who actually built uh, our second prototype at, at Berry Road in Kansas City. And so when this opportunity came up and because of the ties that we have already to St. Joe, uh, you know, we just wanted to jump on the location. Both restaurants have dealt with supply issues while constructing their new stores. Jersey Mike's, which is occupying the space that Pi 5 just left, is targeting September 13th as their opening, along with a partnership with a local community. We always open on a Wednesday. It's just what we do nationwide. And then we'll bring out about somewhere between 7,500 and 10,000 grassroots coupons, which is where we're going to go local business to business and, you know, hand out, hand out a coupon for a free sub with a $3 donation to a local charity. We haven't picked that charity yet. My guess is it'll probably be the Special Olympics. Hawaiian Bros, which is completing a brand new building at Beck Road and Belt Highway, will be opening July 31st. We obviously, I would have loved to have been open at the beginning of the summer, but you know, Kansas City and some of the construction months and, and time that it takes just from a construction standpoint. Uh, but we are thrilled to be open by training camp, which was kind of like our ultimate deadline. The excitement for these two restaurants can be felt all across St. Joseph. With new chains looking to come to the city, it's certain that residents will be eating very well for many years to come. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm Harry Loomis.